Good morning, everybody. It's Cindy Otter here with Artsy Endeavors. Uh, today we're going to start working on page two in our I Am journal. Um, this one I may talk through a little bit. Um, I thought with all the comments that I've been seeing, I think the great place to start out with this very first actual page of ourselves is I am safe. Okay, this is a safe place where you can you can play, you can try a new technique, you can just, it's a safe place. It's for your eyes only. Um, and it's a place where you can go to and you can just be yourself. Be yourself in your art, be yourself in your heart and soul. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started on um, I Am Safe. I'm going to do this one as a talk through video. Um, please leave a message in the comments. If you don't want to hear me talk and you would rather I just fast forward through the process, that's okay too. I have no problem doing that. Bear with me. I still have my squeaky chair. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Again, this is our, it's actually page two in our I Am journal. I've gathered some little bit of book text, some old, um, and these are actually paper towels. My I have a family member that is a cake decorator and they do a lot of airbrushing so what she does is she brings me all of their clean off airbrush paper towels. Um, some of them are of a different fabric. This one happens to be a paper towel. Other ones have a little bit like a, a flexibility to them. So I use them in my art. I use them as a background. Uh, sometimes I cut things out of them. But we're going to go ahead and get started. and. Again, I've just got some odds and ends here that I'm going to go ahead and put together on the paper. Some old book text. Um, that is, as soon as I find the right brush. I do not like, uh, this one's hard as a rock. I do not like to use a lot of my brushes for the glue, just for that very reason that they get hard as a rock. So let's go ahead and... Get this started. Uh, to apply this stuff I'm just going to use a regular matte medium. Um, I put it in this bottle because it's just a lot easier and a lot more convenient to put on the paper. Let's start off, this is an old TV guide I believe. Uh, the newspaper, I don't watch TV so I don't know. And I know that sounds funny but Oh, a while back, my husband and I sat down and figured it out, and I'm a huge football fan, and we figured out that we were paying pretty much $25 a Sunday for me to watch a football game, and that's crazy, because we don't watch other TV shows, so we ended up cutting off the cable, which I thought was phenomenal, saved ourselves a ton of money, and now if I want to watch anything, um, we actually have an antenna so I can get my football games for nothing and um, we're on Netflix so sometimes I'll turn on Netflix I do that sometimes when I'm creating I have uh, the show Lost I'll put it on here and just listen to it while I'm doing some creating as most of you know or some of you know I live in upstate New York uh, yeah, there is a difference <laughs> between New York City and upstate. I live um, not far from Syracuse, New York, and we're just getting spring here, which is phenomenal. It's been a long, very hard winter, so we're really looking forward to uh, getting some warm weather here. Uh, I did not gesso these pages. Um, I figured because I'm really not just going to do paint on them, I'm going to do, a, you know, the collage as well. I also have some uh, drywall tape here and I want to put in some texture. So I'm going to use some of this. This is just random. I really don't have anything in mind as to what I'm going to do. It's more just random. Just play. Oops, that one doesn't want to stick there. 
Okay, so you won't go there, you'll go here. I usually end up doing more with my fingers than I do the paintbrushes. <laughs> whole process um, like I said this started off my uh, journey in mixed media I've always been crafty I've always played with you know um, for a while I crocheted which I can still crochet um, uh, knit not very well I can knit one pearl one that's about it make a nice long scarf um, I've never really gotten into making anything other than that with knitting. Um, for the last 15 years or so, I was a stained glass artist. Uh, for a while I was in a couple uh, artisan co-ops and sold my stained glass there. One of which was um, in Cooperstown. And if anybody knows anything about baseball, Cooperstown is where the Baseball Hall of Fame is and Double Day Field and the little shop that I was in was actually right across from Double Day Field so it was kind of neat sometimes there was games there and it was just nice to listen to the crowds and but let me tell you there are so, only so many ways to make a baseball out of glass think about it <laughs> it's not easy so I kind of got tired of making the baseballs so I ended up coming out of that location Okay, now I've got my paper on here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get some of this color on here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry it up real quick. And then we'll start going with some paints. I plan on using some dilution paints for this. I'm going to cover up my texture there. So anyways, um, like I said, I did stained glass for about 15 years, and uh, then I had my back injury, and if anybody knows about stained glass, there's a lot of standing and grinding and cutting, and you have to have the strength, and um, it just didn't work very well. So... I actually still have my stained glass studio. It's downstairs in our basement. Um, I still have all of my equipment and supplies and glass. I've been thinking about how to, how to incorporate it into art journaling, but I'm not really sure I know how. So if anybody has any ideas, let me know. Um, or maybe someday I'll, I'll disperse the whole studio down there. We'll see. Just adding some random color here and there. Um, we are going to go over a lot of this with paint. So, but use what you have. If you have any old paper towels that look kind of cool from spray inks, or this actually has, a, like I said, it's spray color or spray. She says it's food coloring. Um, it works. I like the colors. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and dry this up real quick, and then we'll move on to the next step. I'm actually also going to clip this page, because I don't like the fact that it keeps moving. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and dry this up, and we'll continue. Be back in a minute. Okay, we're back again. Um, this is pretty well dry. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start with some paint. Uh, I don't find my lid. That's okay. 
All right, what I've got out to use, and we're just going to see how well this goes, is I've got some Dilutions paint. I have the Fresh Lime, which is a really cool light green. I have the Lemon Zest, a real pretty yellow. And I've got the white. Um, I'm, I'm just going to play. So I'm going to start out with the green. I'm going to open these all up because I like to play with them all at the same time. Um, I just got these paints. I haven't done a whole lot with them. The one thing I have noticed, though, is they have a pretty strong odor uh, when you first open them. Now, it doesn't stay, but when you first open them, they're kind of strong. So let's see what we can do here. I've just got a couple of these Tim Holtz round bobbers. I do want to make my own. I would like to make some so that I have one of every one. I can just pick it up instead of changing out the pads. Here's the pads, but um, for now, this will have to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play on getting some some paint on here. Now while I do my I am journal, I think about the pages that I'm doing. Okay, this one is safe. Um, many of us have paths that um, some aren't good, some are great, some people had wonderful childhoods, uh, some people didn't. So I just think about, I'm safe from the past. Um, none of it can hurt me, none of it can, it's not part of who I am anymore. I can only look toward the future. So this is just more of a play, my own therapy style. Okay, I've got the green on there, and I'm going to start putting in some of this yellow. And again, I don't want to, I really don't want to cover all that color. I want some of it to show through. Let me get some of the cracks down there. There we go. I really like these lids to work out of, which is really cool because you can take the paint and just kind of drop it into the lid and then you have its own place and you're not wasting paint. I kind of like that round bubbly style, so I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to dry this up. We're going to start on another coat, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, this isn't all the way dry, but it's it's still kind of tacky, but I'm ready. I'm impatient. I'm ready to do another coat, so let's see how we do. I'm going to leave a little bit of that paper showing in the background. I kind of like that. I'm not sure if you can't see this. What I'm doing is I'm just dipping my smudger here into the paint, getting a bunch on it, and then putting it over into the lid. And I love it because then I just have the lid to work off from. I really want my edge to be kind of colored in, so that's cool. Thunk, thunk, thunk. Okay, I'm going back to the yellow. Again, I'm going into the actual pot of paint. Move this up. Into the pot of paint, I'm picking up what I can and then just dropping it into my lid. Now we'll bring you back down to the page. Sorry, I hope I didn't make you seasick. Speaking of seasick, <laughs> we went on a cruise many, many years ago. Actually, it was in 2000. Talk about seasick. Yeah, I found out I don't do well on big boats. The only thing I could see is the 
everything was tipping back and forth and oh it was awful we had an I believe it was an Australian gentleman that was our waiter and the first night on the ship we went to order dinner and uh, I said to him I said do you have any crackers you sick you sick and away he went comes back with a handful of these motion sickness pills <laughs> They didn't work very well. Again, I am just playing. I'm playing to see what looks good, what looks right. Now I have these, no idea. Oh, actually they're creative memories. Um, just strips. And I love using them in my mixed media art. They're just fun to play with. These were actually given to me by a friend. I'm not a creative memories person. Um, I do scrapbook, actually. I just started my granddaughter scrapbooking. Planned on doing it when she was born, and she is now five, almost six. And I'm still in the infant stage of her scrapbook, so. Oops, that's all right. Again, I'm just playing. I'm not, I don't have anything in mind of what this is going to look like in the end. It's funny, sometimes I'll do pages and oh, I absolutely love them. Other times, not so much. I think we're all like that, aren't we? Sometimes you have this great idea, you try to do it on paper and it doesn't turn out that way. Like I said, right now I don't have any idea, I'm just playing. I know the word, my word for today is going to be safe. Um... But as far as what this is going to look like in the end, hmm, remains to be seen. Some of these I may cover up. Some of them are getting paint on them, which is okay. I wish I had more of this purple, but I don't. So we're just going to add the blue to the purple. Come off. This last one doesn't want to come off. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and dry this up because the paint is very wet and that will help these stick down and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're pretty well dried up now. Um, what I'm going to do is I want to take this white, it's got a little yellow on it. Um, I'm going to take some of the white, the Illusions white, and what I want to do is I want to actually bring that texture that I put in there back out. So I just want to, that didn't work. Hold on. Eh, it's all trial and error, right? Okay, so I'm just going to wipe that up. What I want to do is I just want to bring this texture back out very lightly where I put that drywall tape in there.
Okay, now I don't want that to be the only thing in white, so what I plan to do now, this is in my way, is I'm actually going to oops, use some, this is an old, this is a uh, hot pad uh, that you get in Walmart, the rubbery ones, I actually have two of them. They make the greatest uh, stencils. Fantastic. I just love them. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take some paint, some of the white Dilutions paint, and I'm just going to run it with a brush over this. And I'm going to use this as a stencil. See? I'm trying to stay with the lines. I'm not sure why I started with lines, but hmm. We'll stick with them. Just putting a real light coat on there. here in the middle. Alright. And I have a really bad habit of putting the handles of my paintbrushes and holding with my mouth. I'm going to try to stop that. I've got to find a piece of scrap paper. Here's a piece of scrap that I just, I was playing around with some crayons and gelatos and that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to clean off my stencil on this paper. Okay. I'm also going to clean off my paintbrush of the white. All right, I like the squareness. I like the texture that I see. Now I need some more, um, I, I need something to contra contrast with it. So I'm actually going to, let's see what I'm gonna use. Hmm. If that was bigger, I would use my spray on it, but it's not. So let's see what we can find in the stamps. I just want, these are all my background stamps. This is what I use for my backgrounds. So I like to dig through here and oops, see what I can find. Again, I want to stay with the line style. So how about this one? I like this one. And I'm actually going to use it with black. It stays on ink. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me, archival ink. I don't want stays on, I want my black archival. I have a couple pads here and one of them is almost dead. I keep trying, I keep trying to bring it back, but it doesn't work. I have found though, if you, if you store them upside down, it seems like they last a little longer. Just want to put a little bit of black in there. giving it a little bit more texture, contrast, whichever way you want to call it. Oops. Remember, this is just a place to play. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Looking to see what I like, what I don't. Far, I'm really liking where this page is going. Okay, so I'm just going to show you a little bit closer. Alright, so we have our collage down. 
then we have some dilution paints, then we have some creative memories um, stripes, we have some drywall tape, we have some stamps, and we have some stencils. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry, and next is another stencil. Um, okay, I'm back. Um, this isn't quite dry all the way, but hey, like I said, I have no patience. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I really want to bring in some teal. I'm a huge fan of teal. So I actually um, have this golden teal that I'm going to use. And I'm going to use it with a stencil. So I'm just going to put a little dab over here on my board. Um, the stencil that I've picked is right here. I have no idea. Don't ask me who they're by. I don't know. I don't leave my stencils in the packaging. Um, I When I get my stencils and I use them, I love the 4x6 stencils. I put them all in a notebook, and that's the most convenient way for me to use them. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to bring some teal into this. Let's see how it works. I still am trying to stick with that uh, line deal. Oh, I love it. Love it. Let's throw some more here. Mm -hmm. Gotta love teal, don't you? It's just such a beautiful color. To me, it's so vibrant. Here I go again. I have my paintbrush in my mouth. Sorry. love stencils. I love what you can do with them. There's just so many stencils out there and just such an array of shapes and forms and just markings. I love them. They're so much fun to play with. I only bought, I've bought a couple of the 12 by, what is it, 12 by 12s and I'm just I don't like that big of a stencil. I love playing with the smaller ones. To me, they're more convenient, and I, I just enjoy the smaller stencils more. Again, I'm putting this teal on here just because I want something to contrast with the, the light green and the light yellow, and I love teal, so. Let's put you right about here. This is all about play. It's fun, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna do one more right about there. Use up this paint that I have. All right, now I love it. Uh, what I'm gonna do is take this. I'm just going to lay my stencil face down on it and I can reach it. I'm going to use my brayer. Let's see what I'm doing here. Use my brayer and I'm just going to get this paint off. Whatever paint's on there. So I'm just, just taking the paint off. I don't want to waste it. It's golden paint. See? So we just put the paint on there. That's cool. All right my stencil back. Yes, I know. Don't yell at me. I don't wash my stencils. If I need to wash them, I will. But right now, I don't. So, so we've got our contrasting color on there. I've used one stencil, and I have to put these. Hold on just a minute. Just a okay. So, now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how I'm going to put my word on here. And my word, like we talked about, is safe. So, let me figure out how I'm going to do that. And I'll be right back with you. Okay. 
Okay, everybody, we're back again. Um, this is pretty well dried up. Um, I gotta stop saying um. I had to throw some laundry in and do odds and ends, you know, like we all have to do. Responsibilities. So, anyways, um, what I've done, like I said, our word is safe, and I've got some letters here. Um, that spell out safe and what I'm gonna do is I'm just trying to decide how I want to put them on here I really don't want them in a straight line isn't that funny I did the whole thing in straight lines but I don't want this in a straight line so we're gonna put them on there I think we're gonna put them down right there I'm actually gonna run them through my Xyron machine as soon as I can find it just because it'll be a little bit easier to place them down. I really don't want to put any matte medium down, so I'm going to run them through this little machine here. Make them into stickers. I call this being lazy, but hey, this is what this thing's for, right? Make it into stickers. I love these. I usually get them on clearance at Hobby Lobby. Um, actually, 90% of my art supplies, other than you know my new Dilution paints, my golden paints, um, I usually get on clearance. So that's the best way to do it, I think. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these off. Everything sticks to me. And we're just going to lay them down. these to stand out a little bit so I'm going to take a Stabilo pencil I'm just going to go around my letters Oops. or on my letters Now I'm going to take this brush. I'm actually going to bring it in a little bit closer. Just had one of my kitty cats just jump up on my chair. Apparently, he wants attention. He loves to sit on the back of my chair while I create. The thing is, I keep forgetting he's there. <laughs> so when I get up, he usually ends up winging off the chair. <laughs> Poor little guy. His name is Buster. Just a plain old black cat. He's a good boy. He's actually daddy's boy, but when daddy's not home, he hangs out with the mama. I'm just, I want these to stand out a little bit more because that's what this page is all about, is it is I am safe. 
What a great feeling, huh? To be safe from anything and everything. It's wonderful. Okay, now, to me, um, the page is looking a little bit too plain. So, I have to get my little white in here. I love to play with white. What I'm going to do, let's see if this will work. You know what? That's not going to work the way I want it to. So, changing plans. I think what I am going to do. Black, don't want black. This is just a black Posca pen. If you don't have one, um, you can use some black ink. I just want to put a little something. A little something something around it. As Kelly says, something something. I just need a little bit of... Just a little something around it. I want my... This is a white uniball signal. When I think about this word, when I think about safe, it's something that I, I looked for for a long time. And it's wonderful um, to feel safe in your home, to feel just safe in general. What a great feeling, huh? stick my fingers in it. I always do this. I always start from the right and work to the left. I think I'm part Japanese. Um, but, and then I end up sticking my hand in it. I'm not sure why I don't start at the left and go to the right. That would make sense, but hey. Right now I'm just playing. I'm just doodling, playing. I'm not really making dots. I'm just kind of making scribbles here and there. Show you up close. See, it's not really a dot. It's just kind of a scribble. Now, I did cut out these dragonflies. And one of them may go right there. And we may put the other down here. Yeah, I think we will. Again, we're going to do it with the Xyron. Just make them stickers. And that's the end of that one. Boy, I had just enough. Look at that. Just enough. So this one is done in garbage. Usually this part comes off. This time it did it the other way, I think maybe because it was the end of the roll. See it great right there? I love him. This one we're going to have to glue down. I'm using just some plain old Elmer's. Um, I'm just going to glue it down. Maybe. Oh, 
to back there. Okay. I really like the way that they're the solid and I think I'm going to leave them. Maybe. Maybe I will do just dots on the wings. Yeah, we'll do some dots on the wings. Do the same on this one. Okay, pull it back out. All right, so here's our page two, um, and we're focusing on the word safe, and I hope everybody enjoys. I hope you enjoyed the process. It's just a lot of fun to play, um, and I'd love to see your pages if you feel you want to share. If you don't, I totally understand as well. Um, like I said, it's just a lot of fun just to play. So until next time, happy creating, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.